Hello and welcome to Data Research Labs. For this tutorial, we're going to demo the basic data validation test script in SQL Server. Now that the first eight videos walk you through writing many different types of data validation tests, the next step is to run them in an organized way. This basic implementation simply runs each test case and outputs to screen, what you see now. Look at the red highlight box surrounding test case number three on the screen. The results display the test ID number, the status as a pass or a fail, and the test description. Let's get started. Open a browser to github.com slash data research labs. Scroll down to you see SQL scripts there or here. Click it. <clears throat> Scroll down again to you find the data validation scripts. Scroll down again on the next page so you see SQL Server and the basic validation script. Click that, and there's going to be a bunch of steps that you're going to work through. Step one, two, three, four, and five, and then some next steps. So let's get started with step number one, downloading and installing Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio, SSMS. Expand this, and uh, SSMS is free, and if it's not already installed on your machine, and you're not using something like code or another database IDE, then from this link here, you can download and follow the instructions on grabbing SSMS. So just follow the instructions, download it, install it, etc. And once you're done with that, you have SSMS installed, the next step is to download and deploy the demo data. <clears throat> so let's expand that. I'm not going to go through all the steps, but basically you click this link, gives you this create database script, and you run that, and it'll create the database, demo HR, and then you download the create tables, execute those in SSMS that you just installed in the previous step, and that'll create a bunch of tables. And then the third script that you download, here, I'm going to right click, open in a new tab, there's the script. So you actually download it or copy paste it, and you execute that script, and it's going to populate all the tables you created in the database you created. So that's what's going on. A bunch of demo data is being generated, and you're going to use SSMS to execute those and get all set up. Moving along to step number three, downloading the basic data validation script. Let's expand this. You uh, download the script, and this time I'm actually going to show you. Open it in a new tab. There's the raw data. You can download the file or write from the raw data here, control A, control C, copy it, paste it out, execute it. There's a big header block, some descriptions of what's going on, listed best practices, and then here's all the test cases. Test case one, test case two, test case three. Next is step number four, reviewing the basic data validation script. I'll expand it. In that script we were just looking at earlier, lines one to 41 is the comment block header. No, it contains the notes and definitions. Lines 42 to 1,156, that's the 66 individual example data validation test cases. And here is a simple or a, a standard example of one of the test cases. It's test case number 31. And let me zoom in here a bit. Test case 31 is basically looking at the demo HR employees table in the last name field and checking for any carriage return 13 or line feed 10, character 10. And it's going to, if it finds a problem, it's going to return a rejection code and say, hey, in the last name field, I found a line feed at position number 13 or whatever. So really handy to troubleshoot when there's a problem. Through the notes here, is there anything else we want to mention? The inner query returns many detail rows with business validation logic applied, the column Columns returned vary by the validation test case. So you have to, as you're writing the cases, you have to be very particular in what columns you're returning. But typically you're going to return a primary key or a unique key or some kind of a handle so you can uniquely identify the row that failed. And then the column that failed, you also specify that in the SQL. So it really lets you isolate quickly what failed and why. And then the status field we talked about earlier, we always put a rejection code in to give details on what failed. And if you've seen the previous videos, you saw me highlight the inner SQL only and execute it. And that way I can get the actual detail results rather than running the entire test case and getting a simple pass or fail with a count. I encourage you to go in and run this yourself and play around with it and learn it. And on to step number five, executing the basic data validation script. 
expand that. Maybe it would be better if I just go run it and show you. But basically, in SQL Management Studio, here's your script, basic validation script. You have to be sure you check the box to run the results out to a text file, not to a grid. And then it will look something like this with your test results showing the test ID, the status, pass or fail, and the test description. Actually, let's go demo the script running from SQL Management Studio. So here's SQL Management Studio. Here's the script. Scrolling down, so you can see the test cases. There's the test cases. Here's results not yet run. It's really important not to use the default results to grid, because then you'd get 66 grids, and it's just uh, unusable. You need to check results to text. So there's the default, but we want it to be results to, to uh, text, and then execute the whole script. And voila, we get our results nicely laid out in a single text file. I should be able to control A, control C. I should be able to pop that open and put it in an email. And finally, the next steps, how to build your own validation test scripts. So back in GitHub, there's a bunch of notes, 10, 11, 12 different concepts. Thank you for watching, and please, if you found this video helpful, click like and subscribe. Also, check out our other videos and related playlists in the boxes to the right.